Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing another computer tech how video. This will be on how to set up multiple monitors on either a desktop or a laptop. I was asked this question so I thought I'll make a, a, a YouTube video because probably other people have the exact same question that person did. So, this is for Windows 7 Windows 8. Um, Windows XP, probably on the same, it's probably something different but I'm pretty sure Windows XP is also the same. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your control panel, which I have opened up here. And you're gonna go over to appearance and personalize appearance and personalization. Then you go over to display. You're gonna press adjust screen resolution, and you're gonna click on it. It's gonna bring you to a screen that looks just like this. Um, I have three screens. Actually, this is on a a laptop with two with two graphics cards output. One of the things you can do is you don't have enough outputs is get a USB external video card adapter which I have from pluggable or other people other makers. You get them for like 30-40 bucks depending on how good you want. Mine's USB 2.0 so it plugs into the, the USB port and then you can plug in your either HDMI or your VGA and it gives you an extra port for plugging in a next door display. So I have three on a two computer and they all run 1080p. You'll see 3.0 is recommended if you have USB 3.0 ports because you will get faster, smoother, more HD streaming. I want to show you guys a few cables that you can hook up. This is an classic HDMI right there. HDMI. It's just a little, not sure what it's maybe a, a rhombus shaped. This carries sound and video. So if you, if you have a monitor with sound, it'd be worth getting sound on it. Use a, an HDMI because VGA does not carry that signal. And I'm gonna try and find a VGA right here. Oh, um, this is a VGA cable right there. It's got the little pins and it's got the little screws right there. VGA has, I'm pretty sure it has faster rates, so, so less response time maybe for gaming, but HDMI is more HD, carries more HD, and also carries sound. So, two of my monitors have VGA and one has HDMI. So, HDMI would be recommended for maybe gamers as well, but VGA is kind of going obsolete as far as computer monitors go because D sub is also taking effect. That's a different type of connector, but it's kind of the same thing as, as VGA, just a digital copy of VGA because um, VGA is analog. So, once you're on this page, I'll get back to this. Once you're on this page, you can choose either to Extend this display, duplicate desktop on one and two, duplicate this desktop on two and three, or duplicate desktop on two and four, or extend the display, expand, extend desktop to this display, or disconnect this display. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna press extend this display on all of them, otherwise only two will be showing stuff and one will just be kind of uh, just a display you can doesn't really do anything. So for something like this. If you press extend display and you have three displays, which I currently have here, I'm going to drag something over and just, just to sh sh show you guys. This most people find cool. They don't necessarily know what it is, so it's fine cool. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. So here's my control panel, and I can just pick it up. Come on. Pick it up like this and move it over just like that. So it acts as one display, but it's actually only one display but it's all combined into three displays combined into one to get more efficient for you to work. I think it covers pretty much everything. Uh, orientation, landscape, or portrait. Um, or you can do la la landscape flipped or portrait flipped. So we'll be up upside down pretty much. Landscape is the, this way, the, the way it is. Portrait is if you have a long display, you can put it up if you're going to re read a book or you have a book that you want to put on display, you can do that. If you if your if your display supports that, you do it. Portrait um, resolution. You want to probably want to go as HD as you possibly can, just to have more streaming clearness. And if you guys ever have a problem, you can just press identify. Let me see. Identify and it identifies all the displays. If you don't know what it's called, press identify. And you can also drag these just like this. You can just drag them. 
if there's a problem, you can just drag them. Or if you just want to do it differently, you can just drag them. So I strongly suggest if you have a, a laptop, you want to hook up triple display, get a USB 3.0 external graphics card. Or if you're if you get a desktop, install three displays. Three displays for me, three or probably even more than three times more efficient. Very efficient, very cool, very good to have. It's the same for dual monitors, except you only have two monitors up there, so we probably two and three. And you you could extend both desktops on there to act as two computers, but actually be one. Or you can just do them all to get together to act as one big long screen, if that's what you want to do. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a, com a quick computer tutorial on how to set up dual or triple monitor display configurations. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below or email me on my website. Don't forget to check out my website at www.techreviewer.ca. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed and like this video if you enjoyed the video. More videos to come, more tech videos, got lots of stuff to unboxing, lots of stuff coming down the shoot, so stay tuned. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.